The use of hashing for unambiguously identifying digital information and detecting if digital information has changed is cryptographic hashing's primary value to the world of digital forensics. In fact, there is really no other accepted mechanism that I know of for checking the authenticity and integrity of digital information that equals cryptographic hashing. But how is hashing actually used in digital forensic examination? Basically, a forensics examiner will create hash values each time a new item of evidence is added to a case, and that item is a physical device which stores digital information. The hash value is part of the meta information associated with the item and remains with the item for the lifetime of the case. Hashes are used to identify known information present on the storage device. The hash is used to verify the item of evidence has not changed immediately prior to the items being examined or tested. If an item of evidence has unexpectedly changed, this means there has been a problem in the storage, handling, or processing of the digital evidence, and a backup of the evidence should be verified and used instead. So what do you do with all these hashes? Well, you store them in hash sets, describe them in your examination reports, and keep them together with your case files. In the exam report, you will describe each item of evidence and include a table detailing the item's meta information relevant to the case. Here we see a file that was recovered from a digital storage device that was entered into evidence, and the file was deemed by the forensic examiner to be relevant to the case. Meta information associated with the file is shown along with a hash value calculated using the three hashing algorithms recommended for digital forensics. All of this meta information is used to unambiguously identify this file and verify its integrity.